leadership is key. I can't emphasize how important leadership is. Um, if you see a school that, that ended up disbanding a one-to-one -one program, it's often because they didn't have strong leadership in place. So if nothing else, leadership has to be the driving force when it comes to implementing a technology program in your school. Leadership needs to create a vision, and that's where things need to begin. Rather than with a tool, it needs to begin with a vision from the leaders in the school. Use the number nine here. What does the nine stand for? Uh, really started at the school board level and their support um, and saying that uh, the status quo um, isn't good enough for our kids, that we want to provide every opportunity we can for them to learn and grow. I've heard it said before that your zip code shouldn't determine what you're able to learn. There's big city opportunities here in rural Iowa. Um, technology helps make that happen. Rural poverty in Iowa is a real thing. Some of these pieces of technology students may not have accessibility to through their own home. Six years ago, the administration said we're going to hit technology hard, and that was scary. The teacher's ability to be very flexible and to um, learn on their feet as they go, I think that's invaluable to the culture that we've grown here. It's really not a top-down driven system. Anything that's mandated kind of has that negative twist on it. The teachers know that they're free to try things. They're empowered to do what they know is best for their learners. Fabulous. Seth, do you agree with him? Yeah. Our administration is very supportive. They come in, they want to see what we're doing, but they give us wings and they let us fly. If we have suggestions, they always want to hear them, and they will find a way to make it happen. I think what the teachers have felt is they have permission to fail forward. Uh, anything that they want to try in the classroom, you know, a lot of times they'll run it by me, but not always. Uh, they do what they know is good teaching practice. It can't be top down. You have to invite the educators in a conversation. They have to be a part of this, this decision making try to, I guess, model everything we want from our teachers it needs to come from us as an admin team. Really, that's not my personality to, to be on social media. And that's something that I got to step out of my comfort zone with. We got a school Twitter account. If I'm asking our staff to reach out and connect with other people um, on Twitter, um, become part of the Iowa Ed Chats, that I'll put myself out there and, and become um, become part of that conversation, which has helped uh, grow some nice professional connections. And, and those connections were harder before technology. It would, wouldn't work if we just said, do this, do this, do this, and didn't do it, because they need to see us failing forward also with it. We need to rethink how teachers approach their jobs. We have to almost give them opportunity to fail and to be risk takers. You know, they need to be able to try new things. If it doesn't work, okay, what did I learn? And as a result, how can I do it differently the next time with or without technology that will make it a better situation for our students? Part of preparing educators to take advantage of everything great that technology provides is preparing them to do it and giving them the, the time to try things out, creating an environment where they can take risks, um, uh, you know, where it's, you know, safe to fail. It's, um, it's okay to experiment because that'll help teachers feel better about teaching with thing, tools and methods and processes that maybe they haven't been teaching that way for their entire career. It's brand new. Well, they feel safe. They can take that risk. Mm -hmm.